What's up, my pilots? Air Pond Jim, we're back playing Pokemon Platinum Punch Lock. In the last episode, we battled Barry, and now we're here in Kanalov City, or Kanalov Town, or whatever it's called. And, uh, not really sure what we're headed for next, but uh, I'm gonna explore around a little bit. I'm gonna go into the Pokemon Mart, stock up on items. So we haven't done that in a while. Hey, buddy, what you got for me? Alright, um. Do -do 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 I got some more Ultra Balls. Why not? It's good to catch Pokemons. Uh, Hyper Potions. What are, what are we at there? Oh, only five. Let's get five more. Yeah, sweet. We got tons of money. Super Potions. Actually, we might still be in the range where we could use these in between battles just to heal up. I'll get ten of those. Uh, let's see. We still have a bunch of cookies and stuff for. That sort of thing. We want some repels. We can finally buy max repels, it looks like. So I'm gonna buy 15. I love those suckers. Alrighty, cool. Thanks, dude. So, um, you guys are giving me a bunch of tips about Iron Island, and that's why I'm buying so many repels. I'm gonna try and wait and see if I can get a Pokemon on Iron Island uh, from, an, from an egg, from a trainer. So we'll see if I can make it all the way to that. There's a boat up here, okay. I'm trying to figure out what we're... Oh, there's a gym in this town! That's probably what we should, we should do next. Leader, Byron. The man with the steel body. Oh, it's steel-type gym next, huh? Alright, well, we got a fire-type in our in our party, as well as a fighting-type that still needs some training. Kind of love Doc. What's up, man? You want to set sail? Oh, to Iron Island. Uh, no, no, no. I'm going to do the gym first, I think. What is this? Sailor Eldridge's house. Why do I care about Sailor Eldritz? Hey, you're not Sailor, you're a little kid. I'm gonna be a Sailor like my daddy! Being a gym leader would be cool as well, yes? Alrighty, that's a bit weird. I wonder why this guy's house is marked. Maybe he's important. He's a character we'll meet. Alright, let's uh, try and go to the gym. Ah, looks like we're able to fight the gym leader now. Sweet. What's going on with this gym? This is not an invisible walls gym, is it? Hey there, champ to be. The gym leader here is a steel type. I have high defense, so you have to hit them hard. Yeah, well, that's not very helpful. You usually tell me what types are super effective against them. That's much better advice. Um. Okay, well, we've got a fire type and a fighting type, but we really need to get Knight up to shape, so. I guess the way we're leading is, right, is good right now, because we have. Oh no, apparently it's just a really big gym. Alright. So he looks like he's got fighting types. Um, so we'll just see. Let's do it! Steel represents my unbinding spirit, or whatever he said. I often scroll through the dialogue much faster than I actually read it, which gets me confused when I go into editing. Oh damn, Steelix. That's pretty nasty. Um, <laughs> Mino Raiki Steelix. Uh, I really wish I had a water type <laughs> rather than a fire type. Um, because Steelix is going to come out with some kind of rock-type move for sure. Umbra is not going to take that very well. Oh boy. Um, yeah, even a, even a Fighting-type Pokemon will be better here, but I still think... I'll try a Fire Fang. Steelix has ridiculous defense, though, so this probably won't do much. Yeah, that's... wow. That's super effective. Oh, and you missed your Screech. Right, I'm going to go for another Fire Fang, then. I'm getting a little bit antsy. Getting a little bit over... Uh, Super effective. Torment. Now I can't use the same move twice in a row. Right? Okay, well, I'll go for the bite. Maybe I'll get you to flinch. Flinch, flinch. Yes! Ha 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 ha. Now I can fire Fang again. It's not quite gonna do it. Oh, it will! It will! Nice. Okay, so that tells me that we need to train more. That Steelix was at a higher level than Umbra. And I feel like we got by uh, by some luck just then, because that that could have gone very bad. So, uh, with that in mind, I'm getting the hell out of this gym. It's time for a training episode. Yeah. <laughs> Cue the Rocky theme. <laughs> dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. All right, let's uh figure out where the best place to train would be. Some place where we've already caught a Pokemon, obviously. Let's just go back to the last route and see what kind of Pokemon we run into there. Route 218. Okay, I think we already have an encounter here. We bought, we caught uh, Amazon here back in the day. Back in the Dizay. Alright, um... 
Yeah, so we need to... Phew. Let's just get Umbra and Bell up to level 40 at least. And then... Oh, hang on, let me see. We're going against the 6th Gym Leader. His highest level Pokemon is level 41. So I'm going to get everybody up to like level 40. And then uh, hopefully Knight as well, so we can really start kicking him into gear. I'm a... Uh, Oh gosh, I was—I have such a busy day planned. I don't know if I have time to grind all morning. Uh, I'll make it happen. So uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, do a bunch of grinding here, and I will come back in when we've gotten to a higher level. Alrighty then, I did a bunch of training. So we are kicking ass here, Knight. Oh, Knight is already growing into his shoes. It is uh, impressive. The adamant nature is really showing through. Great, great attack stat. Uh, beaten only by Lynx right now. So it's very good. And he's got Psycho Cut Slash, both of which are power 70 with high critical hit ratios. Plus Teleport and Sword Stance. But, you may notice I've given him the big root. And the plan here is I'm going to teach him Drain Punch. And we are going to take on this Steel-type gym with a fire type and a fighting type ready to kick some ass. So it should be rockin'. I'm gonna forget teleport too. So it's no, no reason to uh, keep teleport when you have fly. Alrighty then. Actually, does teleport work in a cave? I'm not sure. We, we, we have escape ropes, doesn't matter. Alrighty then, so let's get back to business. So I just did a little training in the grass out there. It took like three hours, I guess, to get up to where we are now. It's slow in a, in a Nuzlocke run. You have to really go slow and, and be careful with your Pokemon. You don't want anybody to faint accidentally. Alright, so let's lead with Knight and try out that Drain Punch for Rizzle. Now, how does this gym work? Like a button? Whoa, hello! Oh, okay. I can deal with that. What's up, son? Up and down you go on the lifts. Yes, that's. I'm, I'm now understanding that's how this gym is going to work. Alrighty then. Where Jackson's got three Pokemon, probably not as strong as the yeah the Steelix we fought. All right, let's see what Knight can do. Oh, I gotta turn scenes back on. Turned off the battle animations because of the uh, extra time it adds to the training. So that was <laughs> one AKO for sure. Let's see what a, uh, a Psycho Cut will do. It's not going to be resisted. But, oh, that's still crazy. Oh, you paralyzed me, you joik. Go for a slash just to finish him. So the only thing bad about Drain Punch is that it only has five power points. So, that's one of those moves where you might want to save your PP Max or something. So you can really uh, upgrade that thing. Because only five power points is a severe limitation for things like the Elite Four and such. You have to have elixirs and things at the ready. Look at how much HP he gets back with the big root drain punch. Very nice. Cool beans. Alright, he only used two of them up that battle, so we can go another one. Let me actually uh, restore that paralysis, though. Do I have a paralyzed heal? I don't know if I picked up any. Use a full heal. Doesn't matter. Alrighty then. Let's continue. So this is... Oh, it's a maze! Dude, I can't even... That's a dead end. That sucks. Alright, so both of those seem to be dead ends. What about you? The Pokemon Gym isn't only about seeing how tough your Pokemon happen to be. It's much deeper than that. Right. I don't know if I believe you, dude. Not sure if I believe you at all, Worker Gary. <laughs> Gary! With just the one Magnemite? Okay. Oh, gotta turn scenes on. I gotta remember to do that. Right after this drain punch. <laughs> That's all it takes. I think that, that drain punch alone might get us through this gym battle. That's pretty sweet. Alright, turn on battle animations. There we go. Everything else is still the same. Alright, which way do we want to go? Let's try this one. Let's see. Oh, I got a lot of options. That looks like the right way to me. An ace has the knowledge and experience of battling at high levels. I'll demonstrate what that means. Like a uh, noob? Wow, they actually use the word noob. That's crazy. I wonder, I mean, that, that's the translation team. But I wonder if the original Japanese was actually the Japanese the way they say noob. Alright, level 40 Caesar. Be careful here. I remember I, I, was, I have a psychic typing as well. So any possible bug type move is going to be dangerous. 
Hmm. I'm gonna go for the drain punch. See what we can do here. Yeah! That is such a cool animation, too. Yeah, ooh, wow. It's not super effective, though, is it? Thankfully, because we're part... Whoa, 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 that did a lot of damage. Alright, we're switching. I gotta bring in Umbra to, to uh, go for a fire-type move so we can get a <laughs> four times effective on this defensive Caesar. Metal Claw, that's gonna be resisted, right? Yeah, fire-type resists steel, I think. So, go for the Fire Fang. Oh, and we missed! It's got a 5% chance of missing. That's crazy. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, now here's the part where I have to remember that Caesar can learn Bullet Punch or something like that. So even though I went first before, can't make the assumption that I will this time. It's time to heal and then go for a Fire Fang. Let's see what he comes out with. No, he didn't have the Bullet Punch. Okay. Well, still good to, good to be on the safe side. That should finish it. Four times effective Fire Fang stab. Very nice. Sweet! Good synergy between Knight and Umbra there. I'm not in the mood to sing a lullaby. I don't know why you're talking about lullabies, dude. Alright, are we most of the way to the... Hello. What? Ooh, that's kind of cool. Oh, wow, this gym is big. Oh, oh, hello. It's hard to turn around when you get on one of those. I'm expecting another battle here. I don't know if I want to... Uh... Let's just use some super potions and keep on trucking, shall we? Put one on Umbra, too. Why not? I'm actually just going to use another one on Knight, just because they're not very expensive. We've already made the money back. Alright. Oh, I was expecting that, I was expecting that last one to put me right in front of a, another trainer. Now, I'm betting since he's standing in front of that one, that that's the one we actually need to go on. Yeah, sure enough. I don't even know where we're headed in this gym. Alright, let me let, uh... Let me let Umbra take the lead on this one. That Drain Punch power points is down to, I think, just one. Pokemon of people who've worked together for many years! Yes. Okay, thank you. Why do you... Why do you all feel the need to prelude your battles with some silly saying? I feel like if they had so much time to think about this, they'd have something more interesting to say before the battle starts. I don't know. I don't know the animation for Fire Fang and Drain Punch. They just look really cool. Fire Fang, especially. It's, it's, it's just like the... This looks a lot like the bite animation, which it, which it should, right? But then it has that sort of redness and the fiery little particles coming out of the middle. It's very cool. It's the kind of stuff that makes the game, you know, that much cooler is when they put in that sort of detail and, it, and the, the animation isn't just the Pokemon going ching 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 and like shaking or like flashing colors or something, you know? The kind of animation where you can tell they actually put work into it. Wow, we got another battle. These are some long gems. I'm getting surprised here. Hoping we don't you know, the last guy we fought who looked like that led with a Steelix. So I'm bringing Knight back to the front. Hey, buddy. Aya! Okay. I don't know how long he planned his little introduction, but... Wow. <laughs> yep, there's the Steelix. As predicted. Alrighty. Uh-huh. Drain Punch will finish that Steelix off. No problem. But I'm almost tempted to wait and use it on his second Pokemon so I can recoup the HP. Uh, I'll just I'll just go for the kill. There's no point screwing around here. That's gonna be four times effective. Or no, only doubly effective, because it's a ground type, not a rock type. It's ground and steel, isn't it? I think. Alright, so what do I do now? Psycho cut, I suppose, would be the best option. Could try setting up swords dances. That's a very, yeah. Ooh, wow. Hmm. I don't like the lower defense. Knight already has poor defense. All right. So, yeah. Look at look at the summary of on Knight's stats. His defense is only 59. Uh, whereas the other Pokemon are carrying much much better defense, except for Umbra. Uh, so what do I do here? 
ho hum. Lynx isn't gonna help much. Bell will make ground moves miss. I'm shifting. I'm gonna shift into Bell. I just can't. I can't stay in after a screech. That's uh, just risking too much for. All right, you're gonna be like that, huh? Bell can probably still take the hit though. So, I wonder how fast Steelix is. Probably not very fast. Let's confuse it. I'm faster than a Steelix. Wow. Okay. I guess the Gyro Ball was definitely not the option I wanted to go for there. That's good news. Hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. Ah, Sandstorm. That's not even going to affect anybody on the, on the field. I'm a Steel-type. Okay. That's strange. Let me put my defense back up. I don't know what he's going for next. It's confused. Hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it didn't do much. Steelix has a uh, base 200 defense. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> I am larger than you. There we go. Hit him with that special attack. That'll do it. Alrighty then. I really hope that the Steel type Pokemon that the gym leader uh, level has a lo level 41 isn't a Steelix. Because that would be that would be really tough. All right, let's go right for the confused ray. We might have to play some strategy in this, in this leader battle. I don't want to lead with Umbra and then have him lead with a Steelix and just go down. <laughs> no, no fight. Uh, so let's see. I got rid of my other status move. I got rid of Hyp Hypnosis for Gyro Ball. That's not going to help much here because I'm actually faster. So the base power would be pretty low. Hmm. Wow. That, that, oh, that was a critical hit. I was about to say, that was resisted? Yeah, right. Yeah, look, he's gonna, hit, he's gonna finish him. Oh, he didn't quite finish off. That's fine, we're faster. Two Steelixes. Nice, and we didn't even... Didn't even take a hit? Did they just completely fail to even, to even hit us with something? That's kind of surprising, honestly. That's really weird. Hmm. Alright. Let's keep it going here. There can't be much gym left. This has been a huge gym. Am I already... Am I going backwards now? I'm confused. No, I can't have already been here. There's no other way to get in. Alright, so I guess you're the next person to fight. Um... Let's see, who do, how do I want to do this? Let's let, let's let Umbra lead. Go for the Fire Fangs. I'm gonna probably go back and heal and get my Power Points back before I, uh... try and go for the Gym Leader. Which would be foolish to... Try and make this attempt all in one run. Bronzor! Okay. Oh, I hope he doesn't have heat proof. That's gonna make this more difficult. I guess we'll find out. Nope, super effective. Good. And a one hit KO. Very nice, Umbra. Very nice. Another Bronzor. Is it gonna be three Bronzors? Alright, so who are we expecting the gym leader to have? Maybe like a Probo Pass? I wouldn't be surprised. Or is it a Gen 5 Pokemon? I think mean, it's Gen 4. I'm not sure though. And maybe Steelix, maybe a Bronzong. I'll be my guess be those three. But this is the sixth gym. They might have four Pokemon already. They probably will, in fact. Ooh, that one survived. Look at that. The good thing with Umbra is that she resists Steel-type moves, so that's helpful. What? What else could he have? A, ma a Magneton, maybe? Maybe a Magneton? That makes sense. I, I could see those four being the, the gym leader's lead. Hmm. Alrighty. I think we're probably to the leader by now, right? How many trainers have to fight in this gym? Ooh, the red one. That's definitely going to the leader, right? Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. So we've made it through the, through the, through the gym. Now I'm going to go back and, uh, get out of here. Alright, we're going in circles now, guys. Oh, this is at the very entrance. Right! Oh, that makes perfect sense. Cool! That, that's a very well-designed gym. That must have taken a lot, of, a lot of puzzling to put all that together. Anyway, I'm going to heal up and I'll meet you guys back at the gym leader's uh, arena? Whatever you want to call it. Alrighty then, we are back, and it is time to kick some ass! So, 
We got our items, we got hyper potions and full heals and stuff, we're ready to kick some butt. I... I wish I had a Pokémon with entry hazards so I could lead and set up with those, but... We don't have those on hand. We do have Bell, if we want to lead with a Steel-type. Maybe Confuse, whatever the first Pokémon is, and then take a switch. Uh, we could also lead with Umbra and just Roar if we don't like who they lead with. Or Lynx also can Roar. So those are our options to sort of undo things. And if at any time I get, a, I think I'm going to get a free switch, I'll bring Knight in and try and bring in a Swords Dance. And from there, I think a Drain Punch will sweep the rest of his party. I don't know what he has. All I know is that his highest level Pokemon is level 41. So we should be able to handle this. I'm going to lead with Umbra. If I don't like who he leads with, I'll Roar and hope for the best. Here goes. Ah, that's Orberg's gym badge! I see, I see, you defeated my son! Oh, wow, that's cool, father-son gyms. Oh, this, the rock-type Pokémon is the son of the steel-type Pokémon. Uh, it's the uh, trainer, it's the gym leader, whatever. He saw as much to learn. In the places of my son, Rourke! <laughs> I, Byron, will take your challenge. Rourke. Rourke. <laughs> Such an awful name for the rock-type leader. They just named him Rock with an A. Okay, he's only got three. Magneton. Alright, I'm... I'm feeling a Fire Fang. Let's do it. Ah, we've been, we're even faster than him, that's good. This won't be a 1-0 KO, but it'll be a 2-0 KO for sure. What's he got? Metal Sound? Missed me! <laughs> oh yeah, use your Hyper Potions now. Use them on your first Pokémon. I don't want you to save them for the really strong one you got holding in the back. Level 37. We're waiting on level 41. It was his last Pokémon, so... Presumably he'll play that Pokémon last. Oh, he missed! What bad luck. Umbra can take a th Thunderbolt. It's a special attack. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, come on! Oh, there... That might be the first death that I'm completely not responsible for. That is... Res oh, man! Critical hit on a Stab Thunderbolt. Uh, Umbra, t uh, Umbra totally could have lived that. Her special defense was more than enough to take a Thunderbolt. Man. <sighs> All right, what's, what? are we? Oh, Jesus. Oh, I just I can't I can't keep my fire types alive, man. I just uh, what do we do? I don't want to bring Knight in yet. It's too early. He's got to finish this fight for us. So it's either Bell or Lynx taking the next shot. Tetra and Nibbles aren't even going to come in. There's no such thing as Death Fodder in a Nuzlocke run. So I'll bring in Lynx to get the, uh... uh or maybe... I'll bring Bell in next, and then I'll shift into Lynx if I need to intimidate him, like a Steelix or something. Alright. We can just go for the finish here, I think. He's a Steel-type leader, but he's going for those Electro-type moves, like that's his thing. We'll see what his next Pokémon is. This should finish him. Yep. Alright, we'll see what he decides to bring in next. Now, Bell's only weakness is fire, so... Steelix. Alrighty then. That's only level 38. What's his last Pokémon? Alright, we're confusing the Steelix, for sure. <laughs> One of the few Pokémon I know that Bell can outspeed. Alright. He's not going to do a whole lot of damage to himself on the turns he hits himself. Sandstorm. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Alright. But he will, uh... He will waste some turns, hopefully. I'm going to bulk my defense. And then see if I can lay in a couple extra sensories before I have to switch. Flash Cannon. That's a special attack! Steelix's special attack is really bad, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> and it's not very effective. But our special defense fell. Nah. Flash cannon. That's surprising. I wouldn't... You don't have a Steelix with a special attack? Steelix doesn't have special attack. It's, it's special attack is really bad, isn't it? I thought. I mean, it's, it's really... It's only real standout stat is its defense, I think. And obviously it's very slow. It's slower than Bell. See if he can get through on this turn. It's, it's going to be two more hits before I can finish him. And he got a flinch! Nice! Wow. That doesn't happen very often. 
Which essentially only has like a 10% chance, I think, of flinching. Getting one of those in a gym battle actually matters. It's good news. And he just barely lives it. Come on, hit yourself. Hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. Oh, come on. That's alright, we can finish him on the next turn. There's a long pause at the end of that animation, I don't know why. Sandstorm subsided. Alright, good. Let's take him out before we can start it up again. Oh, you little... Oh, gym leaders. Man. Does that, does that cure his confusion? I don't know if Full Restorer gets rid of confusion or not. I can't even see if he's confused on this turn, because... Alright, you know what? I've already set up an iron defense, and you can't do crap with those flash cannons, so I'm going to use an item too. You want to stall? We'll stall. What are those other moves? All I have, all I see is uh, Sandstorm and Flash Cannon. Has he revealed anything else? The other Steelix has had Screech and uh, Metal Sound, maybe? No, that was the first, that was just Megapon. Alrighty. Oh, he's not confused anymore. Alright, well, it would probably behoove me to put that back on him. But right now he's only a 2 at KO off, so I'm just gonna finish him. So I don't think he's holding another move back there that's really gonna do much to me. Maybe it's a ground type move and he doesn't want to use it because he thinks he might miss with levitate or something. I mean, he would in this case, but. Man, it's so close to being a 3 at KO, it's just not quite there. He need I, need I, need I needed him to hit himself at least once in his confusion, and he never did. Which means it's a waste of a turn for me. Oh well, burning sandstorm turns is no big deal though. So maybe I should set up another iron defense before he brings in his next Pokemon. I don't know what he's gonna have next, but I mean, Steel type is probably a physical attacker. Oh man. What if he has Lucario? Oh that would suck. Oh man. Didn't one of the uh, earlier gym leaders have a Riolu? I don't remember now. It's been a while since we've been doing this LP for a long time. Alright, Steelix goes down. Let's see what his third and final Pokemon is. Something at level 41, but I don't know what. We've already seen a Magneton and a Steelix. What else is he gonna have in there? Some sand Sandstorm's over, great. Bastiodon! Never would have predicted it. Another big defense Pokemon. My last one! This is where we make our stand. Wait, are you holding a shovel? Alright. Well, you're not a really strong... Alright, I'm gonna confuse you. Bastiodon's a defensive Pokemon. Alright, we'll get the confusion. There's almost no point in bringing in Knight at this point, because his, his attack is a physical attack. I might be better off just... going for extra sensories. Just because it's a special attack. Even if, even if it's resisted, it's still going to do more... Well, maybe not. I don't know. He's nice and confused, though. That's good. Nope. Wow, that was a very long and annoying lag spike. Hang on a second. Alrighty then, let's bring in... Let's bring in Knight. It's time to go for the finishing shot here. He's confused. He's not ready for us. I think a super effective Drain Punch is going to help. We're going to have a good shot at this. Taunt! That doesn't matter. I'm gonna... I wasn't gonna set up sword dances anyway. Hit him hard, knight! See how much we can draw out of him. Well, better than an extra sensory, for sure! Wow! Super effective! To say the least. Very nice. That's knight's high attack right there, just busting through that high defense. Unbreakable sword, or uh... What is it, an unstoppable sword hits an immovable shield or whatever? Something like that. Immovable objects, unstoppable force, all that. You were strong enough to take down my prize in the Pokemon. In recognition of that power, I give you this. The Mind Badge. Okay. Cool enough, I suppose. And it knows to use the hidden move strength. Thanks on how to travel. Okay, you now have six gym badges. Thanks all Pokemon level 70. And what else do we get? TM91. What is that, Flash Cannon? Probably right. Yep. If it hits, it may lower target special defense. Cool. Thanks, buddy. Oh, wow, that... You lost Umbra! I, I can't even... On a fluke critical hit, it's just... I know that's how the game is played, but... Just hacks, man, I don't even... 
we were well prepared, we had a good strategy, and Umbra would definitely have been able to take that hit otherwise. Hey, it's Barry. Great. That's the mind badge. Good going. You're tough enough to even consider becoming the champ. Oh, uh, yeah, you're not tougher, Barry. I beat you like ten minutes ago. Come with me to the library. No. Screw you, Barry. Oh, yeah, that's why we were originally sent here, was the library. I'm going to the Pokemon Center. I have to inter Umbra. Oh, man. I just can't get a break. It seems like every... How many Pokemon now have we lost to gym leaders? Just... Oh, man. Sorry, Umbra. It's not the way I wanted things to be. But it's time we put you away in Valhalla. <sighs> Take the dread plate off. Man, that's just so so disappointing. I thought <sighs> knocked down in her prime. Just no, no nothing we could do really. Critical hit. Nothing for it. Oh man, you know I just. Episode, I, I just spent so much time training up these guys at the level 40, and then we go and lose another poke. We've only got three Pokemon, really, now in our party. Uh, Knight, Bell, and Lynx. Our type coverage is crap. We gotta bring in more Pokemon. Uh, people in the PC have gotta come out. It's time we built out the rest of this team and dump the HM Slaves back in the box. I might not even edit in when I take the HM Slaves out anymore, but, uh... Our only other Fire-type option is Blaze. Which is an option, to say the least. I mean, Ponyta and Magic or Rapid Dash are good physical attackers. You get like Stomp and uh, maybe like Flame Charge or something. I don't know what moves are in Gen 4 and what are in Gen 5, but there's something there. Shelly has great potential for a water ground type. We need somebody who can learn Earthquake. It's got great type coverage. And we're going to need a Pokemon that can surf for real so we don't have to carry around Nibbles anymore. And then. We also have Toggle, who is, just remains useless until we get a Shiny Stone for him. Until we get a Shiny Stone and we can evolve him into Togekiss, there's no point in bringing him out, because he just doesn't learn any moves that are any good until he's a Togekiss. And even then, we have to take him to the Move Tutor to relearn moves, or the Move Relearner or whatever, with heart scales and such. So, I, I don't know... I don't know what our best options are for right now, but I guess... Blaze, or Shelly, or Toggle are going to have to come out pretty soon. I, I really wish we had a Shiny Stone already. I think there's one on Iron Island, and I know that we're going to head to there pretty soon. So hopefully we won't have uh, hopefully we won't have those folks in the PC for too much longer. Man, what a, what a horrible loss, though, just to... Umbra! I can't even... Houndoom is one of my favorite Pokemon. It's just now we're... Oh, man. I can't even... Alrighty, so let's heal the rest of the party. They did a good job in the gym. And so, so in the next episode, we're going to go and talk to Barry at the library, see what the hell he wants. Uh, leave comments for me. I'm going to decide between videos, after reading you guys' comments, which Pokemon I should take out of the PC. Uh, right now, it seems like Shelly and Blaze are the best options. If you have other ideas, let me know. And uh, thanks for the advice about using repels on Iron Island. I'm definitely going to try and do that to get the Riolu egg you guys told me about. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time on Let's Play Pokemon Platinum Punch Lock.